and it's Tottenham nil, Bournemouth nil in the Premier League. No goals between Saints and Palace or between Shrewsbury and Portsmouth, but Eastleigh are one up in their big game at Chesterfield. There's a ball down the left-hand side, has got Perisic in behind Tavernier. Perisic pulls it back, his son, who finds the bottom right-hand corner. We've identified the threat coming down the left-hand side. Perisic has had plenty of joy, and the pullback finds Son, who's just brought up 100 Premier League goals in the last game. Number 101 gives Spurs the lead. Here comes Kane again, shooting from distance. Well, didn't need much of a sight of goal there, Harry Kane. He's whistled it a few yards wide of the left post from 20 yards. Short goal kick via Stevens out to this near side and Tavernier up towards Solanke. Holds it up. Now Rojo Rockwell does get in the game. He looks for a lovely ball out to the left of Vigna. We snuck in beyond Porro here. Matias Vigna looking to get in the penalty here. He might be beyond his man. Pulls it back to Christie, oh. who blazes it off target. What a perfect build-up from the Cherries, who had sucked Spurs in down the right-hand side, switched the ball to Vigna on the left, he might have been in himself, lacking match confidence, squared it for Christie, and for the edge of the area, a wild shot off target. And that's given away almost by Spurs there, it was Porro, straight to Vigna, left-hand side, level with the edge of the penalty, Vigna with a little nutmeg on his man, tries to pull it back, can't find Christie again, Matthias Vigna, with some nice work and some confidence to go for the next. All of a sudden, here they come again at Skip, leading the charge. Knocks it out to Son, who's in oceans of space here. He's fronting up Chris Mepham, just outside the penalty area. Son's feet are going left, going right, and Mepham dives in, and then smashed towards goal by Son, and then beaten over the bar by Neto at the near post. And Son once again wound Mepham into a bit of a mess. Christie, right side of the penalty here, Dyer chasing after him, Christie's ball in, Charles for Tavernier, can't get out of his feet, and hammered away by Skip again. Solanke, just over halfway, sorry Wally, he'll, he'll pick this up in a second, because Christie's got it for the Cherries, 30 yards out, now Tavernier, right corner of the penalty here, Solanke goes outside and just takes some defenders away, Tavernier to shoot, and tipped over by Lloris, it was nearly another Marcus Tavernier classic cutting along the top of the box onto his left foot, aiming for the top left corner, and palmed away by the flying Lloris. Given away by Spurs, just outside the area, Billy nicked it back, and here's Vigna in on goal, Matthias Vigna has equalised for Bournemouth on his full debut! The Uruguayan international has waited and watched from the bench for most of his Bournemouth career so far, but pushed in the inside left channel, he dinked it over Lloris, and seven minutes before half-time, Vigna is the Cherries' goal hero, 1-1. Well, I'll tell you what, we said he was a threat beforehand with a couple of instances that he showed. How brilliant is his calmness in front of goal to chip it over the keeper? It comes from their mistake, Pedro Porro gets caught in the ball, we win it high back up, lovely little pass in behind from... Philip Billing, or no, sorry, it's Dominic Solanke. Lovely little run, and what a finish! What a brilliant little stab over the top of the keeper. And do you know what, Chris, on the balance of play, I don't think it's undeserved. Tavernier down this near side wins it, knocks it in field to Christie. This is 35 yards out. Billing joining in. Here's Tavernier again inside the area, pulls it back, nearly for Billing. Christie's there's options to his left, and he sees them. Christie goes down. It's given us oh, a he's dive. Book him. He's going to book him, and it's not. I don't think it's a dive, Chris. Well, yellow card is out for Ryan Christie here for simulation inside the penalty area. The referee madly. Now, of course, with the game stop, VAR in the background. Tony Harrington will be checking this. We're going to get another look now on our monitor as Christie turned into the penalty area. Or oh, the challenge came in from Christian Romero. Kelly down the left-hand side, looking for Solanke, it's going to run in field to the Cherry striker now, Solanke's got it, gets it down under control, to the left and Tavernier, who goes inside Davinson Sanchez, who recovers, Solanke yes! there, and Dom Solanke has put Bournemouth in front, and sent the travelling fans wild in that far corner!
the progress down the left-hand side, Tabernier involved, and Solanke with an arrow finish, left-footed, into the bottom right-hand corner, and 60-odd thousand in stunned silence in North London, it's Tottenham 1, Bournemouth 2. Brilliant goal, brilliant finish as well, not dissimilar to the finish that uh, we, we saw in the first half from, from Vena. Um, absolutely brilliant play, Don picks up in a good position, plays and runs again, Davidson Sanchez, look at him, look he gives away a goal again, he's, he, he's honestly, it can be a real, a real harm to his own team, he's shown that again there, he's the one that actually sits the ball back in for Don to score. Added out to the left hand side. Perisic, fresh off going into the referee's book, trying to take on Smith, could cross from Perisic, and it was looping under the crossbar, and Neto had to readjust himself there and palm it onto the roof of the net. Here's Kulisewski, just outside the penalty, that one's behind Dan Juma, the Dutchman will try and just about keep it in, which he manages to do. Back to Porro, right corner of the penalty area for Spurs, another cross comes into the Cherries area, and you don't allow Harry Kane too much space. This time he's having to stretch for it slightly, and the header was wide. Just one victory over Spurs, which came against nine men back in May 2019, that famous late Nathan Ake header, and Mark Travis saved everything. There's a ball down this left-hand side for the Cherries, and Spurs nearly give it away. Adjacent to their own penalty here, and then Tavernier gets a foot in. That's going to run out for a Spurs throw, is it? Oh, that's loose at the back there. Anthony tries to pick it up, tries to go past his man. Anthony from the left-hand side, close for goal, palmed away by Lloris. Ball over the top here for Dan Juma, who's stuck in beyond here. Chris Meppham and Jack Stevens having to deal with it. And then Richarlison shooting for goal. And it's looped in. There's a flag up. It will not count. The offside flag is up. To be honest, it was a right old mess in there. Yeah. And actually, to be honest, the Cherries have either got away with one here, but we'll double check it is offside. Well, well, this is my point from earlier, Chris. I think it's obvious from the first ball forward he is offside, but yet they let it continue for another 15 seconds. This looking like the moment, it could be the second in 33 as the ball comes into the Cherries box. Mepham jumps, runs loose to Dan Juma, who fires in the equaliser. The former Cherries winger, Arno Dan Juma, has got the equaliser and broken Cherries' hearts possibly once again in North London. 2 2. Came from a long throw, Chris. Long throw on the left hand side, as we spoke about pre game. Never dealt with the first or second ball. Side trying to defend yet another Spurs corner. In from Perisic to the six yard line and headed wide by Richarlison, a free header from six yards. Huge, huge let off. He's on the edge of the six yard box. He's between Watara and Kelly, and Solanke was in there as well. But Smith now clearing it down into that far corner. The former Spurs man, and now Solanke, and Watara's completely free in the box. Solanke still has it, here's Dongo Watara, onto his left foot, onto his... Yes! Dongo Watara has won it wow. for the Terries! The Burkina Faso wow. winger chooses his moment for his first Premier League goal, and he is mobbed in a bundle by the Cherries players. I'll, I'll temper it with one thing, just be careful, Chris. It could be deemed that this is a foul from Dom Solanke for easing their player out of the way. I've just got to wait and see. Well, let's hope not, but Dongo Watara has a smile that would light up the whole of Burkina Faso as we wait and see. Solanke just leaning into his man. There was no flag, there was no real appeal. Watara's definitely not offside. Still Final hasn't quite been given yet. What about the composure to chop Goal back given! Like the goal has been given yes. by referee Andy Madley. The VAR check is over, and Dongo Watara off the bench and what an impact he makes the coolness he showed to chop onto his right foot and plant it in the bottom right hand corner it's a day for heroes Vina and Watara first Premier League goal each